Welcome back to our 100% playthrough of Classic Doom on PlayStation 4's Unity Port. Today we are looking at Knee Deep in the Dead's E1M5 Phobos Lab. We have 131 monsters and 9 secrets. This map is hard to get a good foothold in early, mainly because of the amount of imps and specters they throw at you. So let this one come all the way up and get the armor and the shotgun as fast as possible. And now we want to try and create as much infighting as possible. As you saw there, a light tap on the shoulder as long as we didn't hit the imp. Or the specter will get them fighting immediately. And this will help us clear out the hallway ahead. Now use the shotgun soldier to help with these specters. So we don't have to waste as much ammo. And if we go to the end of the hallway, we can raise the platform in the room up ahead. And now use the barrels to help us clear out any of the enemies that are still alive back here. And anyone coming from up above? You'll notice a green wall behind two barrels here. If we go in there, we get our ammo replenished that we used so far, as well as our first secret of the map. From up here, we want to make sure to take out everything we can in the next room. This will help for one, enemies not sneak up behind us, but two, it will help us when we actually get to that section of the map not taking a thousand hit scan attacks at once. And now we can go across the bridge we lowered, or raised in this case. One thing to be aware of is we already saw a shotgun soldier at the end. There's most likely more inside, so go in guns blazing. And using the barrels, always, to help us whittle all these enemies down. Make sure before you leave here, both pinkies are dead. Because by the time you get to this room, we could be struggling a little on ammo. We picked up the yellow key card here, still at one secret, and currently at 38 kills. Notice on our way back out, there is one wall section, clearly different color from everything else, so we know it's a secret. But it is over a poison pit, so move quickly and get in here for secret number two, which gives us the rocket launcher and mega armor. And we'll spit us right back out at the beginning. So at this point, everything in the lower section is dead, 38 kills carefully ease into the next room. We can hear enemies breathing, so we know there's something in here still. Proceed with caution. Use all the cover you can, and barrels to help take out anything that might be lurking around the corners. Use our rocket launcher to help clear out the room up above, since we know we'll be heading there soon. We can see there's a switch in the room. And we want to make sure that Spectre goes down, if nothing else. There we go. So now, with everything in the entire first floor taken out, that'll bring you to 48 kills, still two secrets. In next area, be ready for two pinkies. And a lift full of reinforcements coming. And we are looking at everything. Shotgun soldiers, imps, pinkies, you name it. Whatever you do, don't just run blindly in this room, as multiple monster closets will open up behind you with hit scanners galore and will light you up. So let's slowly ease our way in. We can see there's going to be two barrels that we can use to help us. And let's proceed backwards. As we know, with only 57 enemies down, there are going to be some major ambushes coming up. And we can also see from the auto map, this is just going to be a circular room. 
So let's keep an eye behind us. Aimed at the barrel. Giving priority to hit the scanners, not letting the specters block us, ignoring everything behind us for the moment. Rocket launcher ready. And let's nail the monsters coming out of the closet across from us as well. And this way we save the two bottom barrels for anything coming out of the back half of the room. Which you can see here. As soon as they come around the corner, blast them. Or if they don't want to come around the corner, just slowly eat and up on them. There we go. Line up our shots. And, at this point, we have everything here cleared out. Except, you notice there are still two platforms raised with a switch. Seems like a very obvious trap. So let's make sure there are no barrels that can be used against us. Especially the one by the switch. And let's go investigate. And run out of here quickly. To avoid the ambush. Again, shotgun soldier, then zombieman, then imp for your priority. And at this point, everything in this area is dead. So looking at our counter, we are now at 85 kills, still two secrets, and let's do something about the secrets. So in the back part of the room, you can click on the wall that's inset to get a radiation suit and one secret. You can also go to the wall just beside it, chainsaw and another secret, and continue through that same wall to get Super Sphere outside. At this point, we're at four secrets. Chainsaw will come in handy later. And notice on your way back in, you activate another secret, bringing us to five. Now these lifts act on a timer. The switch will re-lower them, if I remember. So you can see on the ledges up here, you have chain gun ammo for a chain gun we don't have and we also have mega armor so ride the lift up and as soon as it looks like you're about to hit the ceiling run off and there's mega armor so it's actually not the switch but just staying on the platform that lowers it and do the same thing on the other side riding it up we waited too long this time, so hit the switch to drop back down. Step off. And this just shows the troubleshooting going on with these pillars. There we go. And wait till you're above it. Run. And there we go. Both items there. Get all of our shotguns back. And notice there is a lift up there because we see a jibbed body up in the corner. It actually operates on a line dev that is somewhere around this monster closet. So proceed toward where the jibbed body is and it will lower as we get there. Right there. I'll tell you just for sake of time, the lift on that corner only has a health pack, nothing special. However, this one does have a secret wall right here. One secret. If we head out this way, it takes us just to that upper room we were at before. However, in this room, we have a bunch of health pickups, the blur sphere, and a blue key door we can't open. Go through the pentagram, teleporter brings you back to a starting area. We have the yellow key now, and that switch opened that wall in the main room. Make it over, and you notice these are the enemies we cleared out from where we got the yellow key. So let's finish mopping up everything else in this room. Barrels definitely our friend. 
This time we don't have to waste ammo on the pinkies since we have a chainsaw. Just whatever you do, don't let one get behind you and you won't take damage. Since we have Blur Spear, we don't really have to worry about the hit scanners too much unless we're too close like we were right there. Okay. And at this point, with everything cleared out, we are at 98 enemies, 6 secrets. This barrel, in a way, points the way to the next secret. This is one that's very easy to miss. It is in the corner opposite the switch to proceed. And this gives us the chain gun that we talked about earlier and the computer area map. Definitely would have been nice to have the chain gun earlier when we had the thousand hit scanners to deal with. Notice now we are at still 98 kills, 7 secrets. And now if we hit the switch, chain gun at the ray, let's rip a tear. Since we have plenty of ammo for it. slowly inching our way down and notice this room's already cleared out because this is the room we sniped at from down below here you get the blue key there was that switch we saw and the armor chain gun chainsaw at the ray hit the switch now open the wall down here and our specter now here is how to make the final area much more bearable. If we check our secrets, we are at 7 of 9. What we want to do to make the final part of the mission a lot easier, they do give you light amplification goggles, but on some monitors it can be extremely dark here. The video settings I use, you can see I have the brightness and level brightness all the way up because this area can be extremely hard to see in otherwise. But we're going to get the light goggles very soon. So go in here and immediately turn left. And there is a hidden alcove, which is a secret. And there's your light goggles. And with this, be ready for a bunch of hit scanners, as well as some specters which are nearly impossible to see without the goggles. Make our way through. Chainsaw and chain gunning everything in sight. And this is the classic case of the barrels working against us if you're not careful. We notice there's a green wall here. This brings us back to a secret area we were just at, and notice it also counted as our final secret. At this point, you can see there are only three kills left, so they are most likely in the exit room. So, rocket launcher at the ray. Make sure we have room to back up. And let it rip. Now we're at all kills and make our way out. Phobos Lab, actually a really good exploration map, secrets to be had around every corner, definitely one of my favorites of Knee Deep in the Dead. In next episode we'll be taking a look at E1M6, Central Processing. Take it easy.